we were fortunate to be funded by the Grace and Jackie Club Research Foundation to study osteoarthritis progression further in horses. Osteoarthritis is one of the most common disorders that we treat. It's estimated to affect over 80% of horses over 15 years of age, so it's a really serious disease process for us. So the goal of this study is to use next-gen sequencing techniques which have only recently become available to study at a single cell level what's happening in the joint during arthritis progression. Starting from the time the joint's healthy to early arthritis and then to more advanced disease and that's what the horse model allows us to study. So what's the most common joint that you scope? We're fortunate to have Dr. Jason Stone back here from University of Colorado and Shoots Medical Campus. He's an orthopedic surgeon and also treats patients with post-traumatic osteoarthritis. It's an exciting uh, opportunity to look at how does arthritis start, how does it progress, and are there indicators that we can pick up on early in that progression. Right now, we wait till it occurs. Typically, it results in replacing the joint where we could potentially preserve it. This is absolutely cutting edge research. For example, if an equine patient presents to us following injury, we would have detailed kind of the progression of how arthritis um, unfolds in the joint. And so we know that at that stage of disease, perhaps this gene therapy or another orthobiologic is most appropriate for that stage of disease. A, a good example would be someone who dislocates their shoulder. They have an increased risk of developing arthritis. We don't know which of those patients will ultimately develop arthritis from that injury. If we had some way to measure who will develop that arthritis in the future, then we can intervene before it occurs. This study I think is really unique and we're excited about the findings because I think it will have a really direct impact to equine practitioners and surgeons treating equine osteoarthritis. But there's so much overlap uh, that it's really beneficial to both sides to see that overlap and really make good treatments for both animals and people.